Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install and use RetroPass. Now this is what everybody was looking forward to, so hopefully I don't mess this up <laughs> because I only did it once and that should be good enough. Anyway, just follow the tutorial and uh, let's get started. Alright, the first thing you want to do, open your browser. Make sure you have a PC because it's only done, it's only possible to do this on PC because you need to download assets through this program. So go to launchbox-app.com. Link will be in the description. Go to download. Then it'll say to download, you need to enter your email. Just enter your email address, no password or anything, and then hit download. It'll be like, check your email for the download. I'm not gonna show this on um, video for safety reasons, but go to your email. You should see a download now button. Click that and it'll download it'll download this exe right here okay and what you want to do is you want to double click on this uh... hold on make sure your external hard drive is hooked up before you uh... install this it'll, it'll help a lot don't do it don't don't transfer launchbox like don't install it on your hard drive and then move the installation to the external because I tried that and it doesn't work <laughs> so make sure you follow this tutorial okay now once that's in start it up go to OK or choose you know whatever language you need go to accept go to next and it'll ask where you want to install it now my external hard drive is on the H drive so you just choose the root of the drive and you press OK. And then you make sure, you know, whatever drive letter you use and that's where it's installing. It won't make a mess or anything, so it'll just be on the uh, root. So just go to next, next, install. Now this will install just the program. You need to get your games your own self. <laughs> so once you have your games on your external hard drive, follow this tutorial <laughs> I can't show everything but I'm here to help <laughs> since a lot of people are having troubles and to admit uh, I had my own troubles but it seems what I was doing messed it up and I got it working so just follow this tutorial I know I said that a thousand times <laughs> but this is the the correct way. It's a pretty big uh, file. Now you can use the free version or you can use the premium version. That's up to you. But we're going to use the free version because you know why pay for uh, LaunchBox if you're only going to use RetroPass. You only use this program to get your assets like you know box arts and stuff, and then you need another file to uh, direct the Xbox One or the Xbox in general to uh, find that file okay some popped up I don't know if you'll see it on video but it says uh, user account control do you want this app to make changes to your device direct X SDK you go to yes that'll make sure that it installs the correct files needed to launch okay now once that is done, this will boot up. All right, now instead of showing you here, which I'm sure you could do the same thing that I do, but I want to show the other way just in case you already have LaunchBox set up or something and you want to know the other way of doing it. So I'm going to close out of this. Okay, now you'll see there's no games. So how do we get games? Go up to here, click this. Go to Tools, go to Import, ROM Files. All right, now hit Next. Go to Add Folder. Now this is where your ROMs are at. So look for your ROMs. Mine's under Emulator ROMs. I'm going to do, since I already did a video on it, I'm going to do Game Boy Original. And I'm going to go to Select Folder, OK? Now, to my knowledge, you can't do multiple um, folders at once. Maybe you can. I don't know. Just follow this tutorial. <laughs> this is what worked for me. And I'll t 
tell you in a sec why uh, I don't think you do multiple. Go to next. Right here, it says, what platform are you importing games from? Well, there's only one selection, and if I added two folders, there's only one selection still. There's not two. So I don't know why they even give you the option to do multiple, but here you just pick the system you, you're, you're doing. Like, I'm going to do Game Boy. Okay, leave everything default and hit next. And then uh, when you get to this, it'll be like, um, well, it says right here. Do you want to install RetroArch and configure it? Yes, highly recommend. <laughs> do not do it any other way because this way is the best. It'll set everything up for you. You don't have to do anything but install assets. So go to continue here. And then um, it'll ask you where you want your ROMs to be located or whatever. Do not use any of these two options. Just use the third. Use them in their own folder. That means it won't move any files to LaunchBox or anything like that. You don't want that. I mean, you might be able to get away with it, but just do what I'm doing. <laughs> Leave that default, hit next. And you can click and choose what you want, but for you know setting up everything because it looks nice, I'm going to leave it alone and leave everything as is and hit next. And then uh, you could configure Emu Movies. I'm going to uh, configure it just for the heck of it. Game Boy, to my knowledge, doesn't have any videos. So... Uh, it's not that big a deal, but it still downloads assets and stuff. So let me log in. Thankfully, it doesn't say my uh, login. <laughs> All right, hit next. You don't have to log in. If you don't log in to MU Movies, you can still download artwork and everything. So don't worry about if you ha don't have an account. But if you want an account for videos and music and I forget all else. Um, it's just for extra stuff. So if you want an account at MU Movies, go to the website. I think there was a, a, a link on the uh, MU Movies page that I, I just went through, and it says uh, click the website. And you go to the website, and you just register, and then you come back to this program, log in, and then hit next. Leave all this alone, hit next. But again, you can do it without logging in just hit next that's all you do and then what's great about this is your ROMs don't even need to be you know the perfect set like um, RetroArch wants it to be so it should just import all your ROMs regardless unlike RetroArch where it's like oh well we don't know what this game is so we skipped it <laughs> I had no issues with these ROMs at least <laughs> this looks like no intro but I think I've, I've tried uh, good set ROMs before. That's why I said I don't think it matters. But anyways, I digress. Hit fish, finish. And this is going to take a long time. Um, but I will show you um, if anything pops up what to do. But I think it's just a long waiting game now. Now what you want to do, close out of this, or do other systems, it's up to you, but since I'm only doing Game Boy for this video, close out of this, okay? Alright, what do you want to do before you go to your Xbox is you want to go to your browser and you want to go to this GitHub page where RetroPass is, okay? Now for RetroPass to find your game, you're going to have to download uh, this right here, this configuration file. It says download uh, download RetroPass configuration file and copy it to the root. So download this. Then go to RAW. Let me get this out of the way. 
go to raw right click this go to save as uh, pick your root of your S or a hard drive I mean your external go to save and just leave it alone if you follow this tutorial you shouldn't have to edit it now go to the <laughs> Xbox let me eject the hard drive okay I know why it's saying that because this is open eject this okay now bring it over to the Xbox Now I'll wait for it to load. All right, launch up uh, Arcade Classics or RetroArc or whatever. Okay, the first thing you want to do is go to Settings, go to Input, then um, Hotkeys, and change this to whatever button you want to bring up the menu. Mine Start and Select. Now this will be on None. I changed it already so I'm just showing you where it is all right after that's done if you want to change like screen size and all that do that now if not just do what I do go to quit go to retro pass okay now the first thing you do here is press activate okay now um, I'm not sure what these do. I know that's for debugging. Autoplay video. I assume you want that. I'll turn it on. Sure, why not? <laughs> Automatically plays the video. I don't think Game Boy even has any videos anyways. I didn't see anything. But once that's set up, press B. Okay? You don't have to set up anything else. Okay, it'll automatically download all the box arts. Go to show all. And it, it takes... Uh, a few minutes or whatever to load it he all the box art here so if it looks like you're missing box art it's, it's not technically you're missing stuff it's uh it's gotta do like a cache of all the images but then you just pick a game you want press a then you'll see you got your description sometimes movies will be in here depends on if the game has a movie and you got your screenshots and of course again there'll be more if you have more but if you want to just play the game press A on it it'll launch up RetroArch and there you go and again to go back press start and select and you'll be in RetroArch go to close uh, it will not go back to RetroPass it seems so go to quit and then go to it'll go back I guess it'll go back that way <laughs> So that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope it helped. It's a little confusing, but uh, hopefully it'll work. Sometimes um, the hard drive messes up the uh, box arts and stuff. So make sure the hard drive is good and that you eject it properly on the PC because otherwise it might corrupt. Not corrupt, but have to be fixed which is not a big deal but you might have to reinstall launchbox and everything again so just keep trying if it failed I don't know what else to tell you I'm kinda new to the thing and uh, I hope it helped anyways and I'll see you guys in the next video peace